Welcome to your daily gospel reflection, where we are exploring the radical and relevant nature of the gospels, the genius of Jesus, the genius of Catholicism, and looking for a word or a phrase or an idea each day and allowing it to sink its roots deep into our hearts, deep into our souls, deep into the daily activity of our lives. Today's reading comes from John chapter 14, verses 27 through 31. And Jesus said to them, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I go away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I go to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. It's a beautiful phrase there at the end, right? Jesus says, so that the world may know that I love the Father. It's a beautiful phrase. But what jumps out at you today? So many, so rich. Every reading is just so rich. Jesus starts out by saying, peace I leave with you. Maybe, maybe your heart is troubled. Maybe you do need peace. He goes on to say, let not your hearts be troubled. It's a, it's a theme here in John's gospel. Is your heart troubled? How is God inviting you to, to allow him to take over that trouble so that your heart can be flooded with peace? He goes on to say, neither let them be afraid. Are you afraid of something? What are you afraid of at the moment? Our fears are so powerful in our lives. They drive so much in our lives. How is, how is fear driving you right now in your life? How is it affecting your principal relationships? How is fear affecting your career? How is fear affecting your health? How is fear affecting your personal finances? How, how is fear impacting you at this time in your life? In every reading, there's just, there's so much, but what strikes me is that last line, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Jesus loves the Father. He invites us to love the Father. Have an amazing day. Remember, be bold, be Catholic.